Okay, this is to the folks out there who are getting into the hobby of WPL trucks and have purchased themselves an RTR. This one started out recently as an RTR and I like to modify my WPLs. I have several of them, but something I would really like to point out is the performance in an RTR form and like the way they come out of the box. A lot of people find that they don't have a lot of slow crawling capability or they're jumpy and a lot of people overlook this but a huge amount of that comes down to drag within the drive line. Um, I just recently installed this kit which is a it utilizes the plastic axle housing but it adds um, cast aluminum steering knuckles with bearings. It's all roller bearing, universal joints, and these uh, nifty little steering joints. These, uh, this is a adjustable tie rod and uh, drag link. Now, one huge benefit to this is you no longer get any bump steer, especially when you have it set up with the um, tie rod on top of the steering knuckle and having the drag link off to the passenger side that really reduces any bump steer. There's, there's no bump steer. It might look like it on the video but there is there is no bump steer. And what this does too is because it's all roller bearings now, this is much like a WPL metal axle kit. There's roller bearings in either end of the steering knuckle roller bearings on the um, differential pinion and roller bearings inside of the housing on either side of the crown gear and out at the wheel outers and what this does it creates this really smooth action and now your stock electronics don't have to overcome all of this rolling resistance the stock plastic outers have a significant amount of resistance out in here. If you ever try rolling one, you'll realize, wow, there's there's a lot of rolling resistance in there. I find the rears are usually quite good. Like usually they don't have a ton of resistance. There's not as many moving parts within the rears, but uh, specifically the the in the front in the RTR, this outer plastic wheel hub with the dog bone is is very has high friction and it creates a uh, poor response from your electronics. Now, they're not saying the factory electronics are great, but this truck with the factory ESC performs significantly better just changing out this front portion right here, these front metal kit, and you can get these quite easily online. Just the metal gear and link upgrade, I got this for um, $20 Canadian with free shipping. So, I mean, it's totally worth it, 100% worth it. Um, yeah, the, the, there's, there's no comparison here. It's a totally different truck. It adds weight and it feels much more balanced. So, if you are experiencing some drag issues, even if, even if you've upgraded your USC and it still just doesn't feel like it's doing well, either the full metal axle kit or this plastic with the metal outer hubs, huge upgrade, highly recommend it.